So what's up, YouTube? My name is Keith. You can follow me on all platforms at Keith Can Code. Yeah, we back again for another video. This time I wanted to share my top three resources on learning how to code. So number one is a course. If you just do a little bit of research, you'll probably find 10, 20, 30 different websites offering courses on learning how to code. But for me, there were two courses that I found that really worked for me. One was paid and one is free. The free one is freecodecamp.org. On freecodecamp, you can learn a variety of things from web development, Python development, uh, data analysis, machine learning even. It's just a ton of different things you can learn on there. Now, being self-taught, I needed a little bit more structure. So then I was introduced to teamtreehouse.com. And this is by far probably one of my most favorite platforms to learn how to code. It's not free. It costs about, I think, $30 a month. I'm, I'm not subscribed anymore. I don't use it anymore. But when I was using it, it was super beneficial. Now, because it's a paid platform, it definitely has a larger selection of things you can learn in comparison to free code camp. Now, in the beginning, having access to such a wide range of topics benefited me because I really didn't know what I wanted to do in the tech space. I went from mobile development to learning Python to app development. I was just trying a whole bunch of different things, but Team Tree house gave me the ability to find what I really want to do and what I like. Now on Treehouse, the curriculum is broken down into paths. Me personally, I took the JavaScript path. Now the thing that sold me is the courses are interactive and they're in video. So being a visual learner, I can watch the instructor do things and apply it myself. Now for my second resource to learn how to code, I feel like this resource gets looked over sometime, but it's probably one of the most powerful resources out there. And that's a good old book. If you go to your local library, I guarantee you there's a section all about computer science and coding and programming with tons of books. Even if your library doesn't have a book that you're looking for, they can probably order it for you. Now, being self-taught, I think books were very intricate in my learning because the instructors in a course can only tell you so much. I feel like even though I completed certain courses, when I went back to a book and revisited those topics, there were just small bits of information that were missing from the course that I definitely needed. So once you have a language in mind, go to your local library, find a book about it, start reading. Now for my third resource, it's simply the documentation of the language you're trying to learn. The documentation will go in depth about everything that you can do with the programming language, uh, how to implement it, uh, the syntax of it, uh, just everything about it. Now for me, I definitely struggled early on getting through the documentation just because things didn't make sense to me. There's a whole bunch of terms and key words that I had no idea what they meant. But with time and getting through some of the courses and just immersing myself in tech, the documentation started to make sense. And now for me personally, when I'm trying to learn something new, I probably go to the documentation first before I try to take any course or any book or anything, I'm gonna look at the documentation. Now I said my top three, but I'm gonna go ahead and give you a fourth. So my fourth resource on learning how to code would be to get a mentor, get on Meetup, find a group in your local area of people already in the field, go to the meetings and ask them a billion questions. Now, this is just me personally. It may be different in your area, but I found that, you know, most of the people in tech love to talk about tech. They love to talk about what they do and what they know and all these other things. So pick their brain. Early on, one of my biggest struggles was simply, I just didn't know where to start. And even when I started, I still had so many questions that I just couldn't answer myself being self-taught. So having somebody already in the field that I can bounce questions off of is definitely one of the most valuable resources you can have. So those are my top four resources. Again, there, there's so many ways to learn how to code. There is no one thing that you can do or a, you can use a combination of these things like I did. Um, but you just have to find what suits your learning style. And the biggest thing is just be consistent. You should be coding every single day. It doesn't matter if it's 30 minutes, an hour, 20 minutes, just do it every day. So if you got any value out this video at all, please like and subscribe. Again, follow me at Keith Can Code on all platforms and I'll catch y'all next time. Peace.